character, friends, that I speak to you this morning. My title is Paul. Yes, I am of the Apostle Paul's wavelength, as the rest of the speakers have been. Paul, the Catechist, and our servants. And without more ado, I plunge into the subject by asking you this. Do you know what a quadrilateral is? Well, of course you do. It's a four-sided figure. Do you know what the Anglican quadrilateral is? Well, I expect you do. Um, it's the way that we refer to the four essentials which are not negotiable for Anglicans in discussions of church union. Scripture, the creeds, the two dominical sacraments, Bishops. and Episcopal ministry. But now, do you know what the evangelical quadrilateral is? It was defined some years ago by a Scottish church historian named David Bennington, and the analysis that he offered, the four essentials of evangelical existence, has been taken up generally by other historians and by those who discuss church life today. Uh, it's sketchy, and it leaves out some key things. But it does give you four fundamentals which indeed are altogether central to evangelical reality, and here they are. Biblical authority, Biblicism, the centrality of the cross, redemption, or crucicentrism, as it's sometimes put, the new birth, or conversionism, and for outreach, the mission dimension. <coughs> and you know where those four emphases come from. Here the Apostle Paul once again enters into his own. He is the one who, above all in the New Testament, highlights all four of these priorities. Biblical authority. Well, it's Paul who insisted that all scripture is God-breathed and profitable for teaching and correction and guide instruction and uh, uh, wisdom, wisdom for all good works. Crucicentrism, well, it's Paul who insisted that the cross is at the heart of Christian existence, and he did it, you remember, uh, by his own personal testimony. I have been crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me, and the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. That's Christianity, crucicentric to its core. Conversionism, well, that is linked with the recognition of the centrality of redemption through the Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul knew what conversion was, remember the Damascus Road. And Paul insists, you remember, at the end of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, that God in Christ was reconciling the world to himself. Now, he's given the ministry of reconciliation to us, says Paul, so we beseech you in Christ's stead, on Christ's behalf, 